2008 was the year Kenyans went through their nation's darkest hour since independence. By the end of the year, more than a thousand Kenyans had lost their lives and half a million their homes in the violence that erupted soon after the general election of December 2007. The violence followed the announcement by Electoral Commission of Kenya Chairman Samuel Kivuitu that outgoing President Mwai Kibaki of the Party of National Unity, PNU, had won the presidential race against Raila Odinga, the candidate of the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM. Throughout January, insecurity was high, especially in Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu and several parts of Rift Valley Province. The situation was so bad that the African Union sent former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan to help negotiate a peaceful settlement of the PNU-ODM disagreement. By the time Kofi Annan, assisted by former Tanzanian President Benjamin Mkapa and former Mozambican First Lady Grasa Machel commenced their negotiations on January 29th, Kibaki had formed his new cabinet. It included Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka of ODM Kenya as vice president. A peace deal was finally agreed upon on February 28th. It called for a coalition government between the PNU and the ODM, with Kibaki as president and Raila Odinga as prime minister. Also agreed upon, even as violence continued in several parts of the country, was the establishment of a number of commissions to look into the causes of the post-election violence and to recommend ways of avoiding similar happenings in the future. One commission, headed by South African Justice Johan Kriegler, would look into the conduct of the controversial general election. Another, chaired by Justice Philip Waki, looked into the circumstances of the pre- and post-election violence and tried to establish whether the violence was spontaneous or had been planned. The report that the Waki Commission released in October claimed some of the violence had been planned and it drew up a list of prime suspects whom it wanted investigated further, if not by a local tribunal established by Parliament for the purpose, then by the International Criminal Court at The Hague in Holland for appropriate action. There was mixed reaction to the Waki report. At first, the PNU supported full implementation of Waki's recommendations, while the ODM rejected the report in its totality. But by mid-November, the position had changed dramatically. Against opposition from some ODM leaders, including Eldoret North MP and Minister for Agriculture William Ruto, Prime Minister Raila Odinga started rooting for implementation of the Waki report. Most PNU leaders now opposed Waki's recommendations. In sports, 2008 was the year Kenyans won six gold medals at the Olympic Games in Beijing, China the largest Olympic Hall of Gold the country has ever had. Asbel Kipruto Kiprop won the men's 1500 meters. Brimin Kiprop Kipruto, the men's 3000 meter steeplechase. Wilfred Bungay, the men's 800 meters. Samuel Wanjiro, the men's marathon. Pamela Jalimo, the women's 800 meters and Nancy Lagat, the women's 1500 meters. In Boston, Robert Cheriot won the men's marathon, while Selena Kosgay won the women's event. In Nairobi, Lee Rose, partnered by Piers Dakin, won the safari rally. In addition to the more than 1,000 people who perished in the post-election violence, Kenyans said farewell to Embakasi MP Melitus Were, who was murdered in Nairobi, and Aina Moy MP David Kimutai To, who was murdered in his constituency three days later. Kenyans also said farewell to Rhodes Minister Kipkalia Kones and Assistant Minister for Home Affairs Lorna Leboso, who both died in a plane crash in Narok in June, 
while on their way to Aina Moe for the by-election occasioned by Kimutai To's death. <laughs>